guys, so today we will be making cauliflower three ways as a cauliflower bite, as a salad and as a burger. Okay, so we have this one head of cauliflower. You're going to want to use a organic um, cauliflower head. And we have a bag here. I got this one from Ikea. So it's got the Ziploc. Start by cutting the cauliflower into florets this size piece so we're just gonna bag. add one cup of full fat milk um, you could use almond milk if you'd like to make these vegan um, so I'm pouring most of the milk in but I'm gonna keep a little bit aside and depending on how thick the batter is we'll add more or less so I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons of flour to the batter and then we're just going to whisk that up so I'm going to add one teaspoon of jerk seasoning because I like mine quite garlicky I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder should be kind of like a loose pancake mix we can just pour all of that mixture right into the bag we could also do this um, step a day in advance and then keep this in your fridge and um, make it the next day. We're going to get a lined baking tray and this is parchment paper. Now we have our cauliflower all coated. And on our baking sheet, we can put this in the oven now. It's been in the oven now for about 10 minutes, as you can see. Just gonna give them all a turn. See, nice and browned. So this is after baking for 10 minutes on each side. Okay, so to one tablespoon of melted butter, we are going to add 100 grams of, or 100 milliliters of Frank's hot sauce. I'm just gonna give that a good mix. Mm. That is how spicy I like mine. So what we're going to do now is get the cauliflower wings and just dunk them in the Frank's hot sauce. So now these are going to go back into the oven for about 15 minutes. This is what the cauliflower will now look like. As you can see. And really like soft in the, on the inside and really crunchy on the outside. So for the salad, it's quite simple because we're just going to use the cauliflower that we've already made. Rip up some lettuce leaves with your hands because I can't be bothered to use a knife. And the croutons that you made earlier. I just made these with sourdough. You can just use ready-made croutons if you want. And this is a Caesar salad dressing that I made on my Instagram. The recipe is in my highlights and the leftovers highlight if you're interested. 
or again you could just use a ready-made Caesar salad. So top the blurry <laughs> cauliflower on top of your leaves and croutons and you could leave it here if you wanted but I love avocado. So that's the second way I would eat this cauliflower. I really love this salad because it's got a lot of textures, creaminess from the avocado and then the crunchiness from the croutons and the cauliflower and then you get a lot of like saltiness from the anchovies in the Caesar salad dressing. So I would really give this a try. So for the third and final way I like to eat cauliflower is as a burger. So I like to cut the cauliflower into steaks and then rub a teaspoon of olive oil on both sides. So once you've rubbed the oil onto both sides, I like to get a teaspoon of jerk seasoning and rub that into both sides of the steaks as well. And then I get about a teaspoon of breadcrumbs for each steak as well. This will also help with the crisping up and crunchiness. I love texture in all of my food. There always has to be a bit of crunch in all of my food, if you haven't noticed already. Now we will put these in the oven for about 20 minutes on 200 degrees if you have a fan assisted oven. And this is what they should look like after 10 minutes. So you want to give them a little turn, but be careful because they are quite fragile. And then put them back into the oven. So I usually put these back in the oven for another 20 minutes until they've gone brown and crunchy. So now we have our cauliflower steaks ready. They've been in the oven cooking and getting nice and crunchy and crispy. Now you can layer your burger with whatever toppings you like. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple with a bit of lettuce, avocado and a sauce which is basically sour cream mixed with Frank's hot sauce. Sometimes I like to grill onions and mushrooms but sometimes I just like to keep it a bit simple and it's a bit fresher this way so it feels a bit more healthier I guess. 